Good morning, yeah. Here we are today at the mighty Waikato, the Wakatumba, Wakachanga, the old grey, the old lady, the old misty, the old bird, the old, uh, the old, uh, who's the whole Harakara, Marachara. And this is our child learning program for you young Kiwi landers. What we are talking about today is a mysterious force that no one really knows about, but yet it plays a role in our everyday lives. The Coriolis is a apparent force acting on moving objects that are mainly moving longitudinally. Do you know what that means? Yes, Mr. Something Something. I am the world. <laughs> longitudinally moving up and down the world. Latitudinally like this. Huh? 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 Now. If I was above the equator, up here maybe, in the northern hemisphere, if I was moving down, it would bend to the right and from the bottom to the left. Remember that. Southern hemisphere to the left. Schnitzel von Kram. Schnitzel von Kram and you. Schnitzel von Kram. You're right. Thank Here you. we are. All about the Coriolis. Oh, hello there! I didn't see you because I was swimming in the ocean. Why don't you come down here and I will teach you about the Coriolis. I hope you like my sailor hat because I'm in the ocean. So, as I explained earlier, things in the southern hemisphere get deflected to the left by Coriolis. So, if you started down here at the poles, where you are free to welcome you are free to walk over my world. If you start down here at the pole, the South Pole, where Coriolis is negligible, the, the movement would be the flex. Hello there. They're from up around here somewhere, maybe in Korea. Uh, the line of travel will be going up, and as you get closer to the equator, move more and more left. Big arrow over the little Australian. New Zealand's much bigger and better, I hear. And then if you move south from the equator, it would again be deflected to the left, like this. And about 30 degrees south of the equator and north of the equator is the bottom of the Hadley cell, who is actually a friend of mine, and I killed him. Um, and what happens here is the uplifting from the heating of the sun coming down on the intertropical convergence zone causes an uplift of air up about here, moves down to about here, and 30 degrees south of the equator comes down, and this establishes the trade winds. Yeah, so time for some more learning. And to get a little bit technical, but not too technical, because you're just kiddies. Except for you, Dean. You need to start looking for retirement plans. Anyway, so, here we have a little bit of the Earth. And temperature influxes on the Earth called differences in pressure gradients. Hello. There are highs and there are lows. What happens is the pressure gradient force moves from the high to the low. Coriolis acts to opposite direction to the pressure gradient force and the resultant wind to the left of the pressure gradient force is the geostrophic wind direction. Here we have a little bit of upwelling on the coast because the wind direction which is controlled by Ori Co Oriolis? <laughs> Coriolis causes the ocean to move this way which results in the upwelling coming up here. Ah, children, thank you so much for joining me in our adventure to Coriolis. And now, an example of Coriolis. <laughs> thank you. Well, I remember you from a different occasion.